Terry Soul here, and I thought with Halloween coming up, I would do a little scratch video demonstrating some of the cool effects you can do within scenes and scratch, taking a little inspiration from the holiday season. So the code to do this is relatively straightforward. We have four sprites, one for the mansion, one for the ghost that appears in the window, and a couple for the trees at the beginning that move to the side. One of the first things to point out is because we want this sort of pan and zoom effect. So we're zooming in on the mansion and panning across it. Although in fact, it's the opposite. It's the mansion that is moving and getting larger. We can't do that with a backdrop. So even though the mansion looks like a backdrop and that might be how you're thinking about doing a project like this, in order to get the moving and the changing in size effects, we actually need to use a sprite. And so our quote unquote backdrop is actually a sprite. And if we look at the costume, it's quite a large one. And if we go back to the code, we even begin by making it a little bit bigger and it could be made a lot bigger if necessary. Because we're treating it like a backdrop, we have to go to the back layer. We wanna make sure we have the right costume, clearing all of the graphical effects because then we're gonna set the brightness to minus 30. So that makes it all a little dimmer, a little shadowier. And if you're doing your own scene, of course, you can adjust how you want a brightness or a color effect to fit the mood of your scene. And then we go to the right position. And sort of the key to making this work is a combination of a glide here. So that gives the effect of the camera panning across. And also when the green flag is clicked, we have this repeat that keeps increasing the size. So the sprite gets bigger. And so the net effect is as if we had a movie camera panning and zooming in at the same time. And then to get sort of the lightning-like effect, we just change the brightness and we're broadcasting a message. This is what tells the ghost to appear. This is also the sprite that runs the cricket sound and the wolf howl sound. And then at the end, we set the brightness back to minus 30. So it's just some different standard scratch commands used in a way to give this sort of pan and zoom. And then if we look at the trees, they start quite large. So those were also large costumes so that they fill a lot of the screen. And in terms of the code, mostly all they do is glide out of the way to give that sort of the camera is moving forward through the trees effect. Turns out they're identical sprites. This one is just flipped in the other direction with of course the rotation style set to left, right. So it doesn't flip upside down. And then of course there's the ghost which appears in the window, but initially it's hidden, it's quite small, it goes to the right place. And again, just to be on the safe side, it goes to the front layer. So I wanna make sure that the ghost is appearing in front of the mansion. And I need to make sure of that because the mansion isn't actually a backdrop. And then when it receives its message, it shows itself for the required time while sort of the lightning is flashing and then it hides itself. Notice that for both the ghost and the mansion, I've got my link credit where credit is due for the artist that created those. Although with the ghost, I have made a modification. So if we look at the costume, I've added a few lines here. And if you look closely at the window, you can see there are some little lines in the window, basically the supports for the glass. If we don't put in these lines, it looks like the ghost is actually in front of the window, outside of the building. By adding those lines, you give the sense of it being inside the window. And it's a very subtle effect, but it can make a big difference in terms of getting the right sense of what's going on. Our eyes are very good at picking up on those subtle cues. And so by just putting in a couple of lines here, it's a little tricky to do, but they kind of line up with the lines on the window when the ghost flashes, it makes it much clearer that this is someone inside the window. So a subtle effect, but an important one. And then the net result, if we watch it again, a nice little Halloween scene, right? So this is always a nice idea. Use the current season or use whatever is around you to inspire you to go out and create new projects. Thank you.